As a medical scientist, my work could be anything depending on the day. So most days when I wake up, I get in and I'm on my computer for a little bit, checking my emails and stuff like that, responding to questions that people have for me and asking other people questions. Um, I also spend a lot of time in the lab. So we have a special molecular lab upstairs in our building where I have to wear a white lab coat and colorful gloves. So I do all my lab work up in, upstairs to, to work out what DNA is in pollen at different times of the year. I also do a little bit of, uh, we call it field work, so I get to go up onto the roofs of buildings and I collect pollen there. I also do some works with people, so people that are allergic to pollen, or hay fever sufferers we call them, I get to go into the, like, the clinic with them and I get to take um, skin prick tests. So there are, what we do is we put little different types of pollen on people's skin and we see if they have an allergic reaction to them and that means that they would get hay fever from those types of pollen. I also um, have been taking blood from people too, so we can do some experiments on their blood. Um, and also, sometimes for my work, I go out into backyards and parks, and I dig up soil from the yards to, make, to see what different types of pollen and fungal spores and bacteria are in the dirt of people's houses. I've also taken dust from people's um, windowsills to see what pollens are inside people's houses and outside people's houses. My, my everyday life in this job is super variable and it really depends on the day. So, But I always find time for coffee and lunch. That's the most important thing.